Right. If he has bear mace, you gotta close your eyes. Okay. All right. I'm so nervous. This is it. Okay. What up, bro? What's going on, you guys? Are we doing this? We're doing this. It's time. Oh, guys, today, me and Jennifer are taking a little road trip to confront our brother. And I can't go because of the kids. Bridget can't go because of the kids, but don't worry. You don't got to worry about getting sprayed with bear mace or how the <laughs> cops called on you. You heard about that, Bear right? mace, you yes. Heard that. Yeah, you heard about that. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's big dork energy. <laughs> the obsession is real. He was crying in pants. So scared of you, dude. Bear mace. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Keep behind the camera here. Bitch of us here. Jennifer right here. Nobody cares. I know. I care. About Jenny? I like Jenny. Well, I don't. I'm a good person now. <laughs> now, okay. <laughs> okay, you redeemed yourself with that. I like you again. A couple of years back, I didn't give a flying <laughs> Jennifer. Smack the like if you want to hear the story about what Bridget beat the hell out of her, dude. You almost knocked her unconscious. My hair was all over the floor. Well, don't worry. Now Bridget will be on the floor if you just blow on her. <laughs> okay. Aww. It just blew like a dandelion. It's growing back, okay? It's postpartum hair loss. I had your babies. I've never heard of postpartum hair loss. I'm surprised you didn't get it. You had four back to back. She had postpartum teeth loss. <laughs> yes, that's a fact. We're not going to be like driving real fast, are we? Yeah, that's how I drive. Hang on, are we taking the interstate or some back way? Back way. Oh, for God's sakes, dude, are you kidding me? Why are you so afraid to drive? Look what the f is talking. What does that mean? Okay, we're hitting the road, stopping off at the store to get snacks. Okay. Pray for us. Mm -hmm. What is that face? Are you eager for me to go? Right. No, the sun's in my eyes. She's got someone coming over. What did you just say? She's got someone coming over. I know that kind of look. What? I used to be that person. <gasps> Jenny! What? I the sun is in my uh -huh. eyes. Yeah, sure. I'm checking all the ring cameras. <laughs> I want access to everything that you have. First stop is the gas station because it wouldn't be a road trip without snacks. You can have all the snacks you want. You're not getting any road snacks? I can't eat snacks. You're already pumping gas? Yeah. I thought, but you didn't go inside yet. No, I'm paying with card. What? I'm paying with my card. Jenny, that's a skimmer. What's a skimmer? You ever heard of people getting like their like credit card information stolen at a gas pump? See that lock? That's a skimmer, dude. You just gave someone your credit card information. What they usually do is they'll buy everything that they can until they max out your, car, your like account and they close it. That's a definite, look. That's the skimmer logo. Just kidding. <laughs> Although those things exist. Okay, it has been about two hours and here we are. Every time I come here, dude, I'm just hit with like nostalgia. You know what I mean? It's just like everywhere. Okay, straight ahead, there'll be a gas station because Jenna needs to take a dump. She has diarrhea. <laughs> Like, I don't know what she has diarrhea from, but she does. Let's just tell the whole f***ing world. Well, you f***ed pants twice. Well, shut up, man. She, she didn't really f*** it, okay? But she's like this close. Oh, right down here, there was a Chinese place that me and Dad used to put out of business, dude. Oh, God, I wonder if it's still open. Just like you, you remember something to food. You know what? You're such a <laughs> asshole. Oh, it's closed. It was right Aww. there where that open door is. I was this close to shutting them down again for all time's sake. Just for Dad. Look, Jenny, that was my old elementary school. Look. Wow. Wait, isn't that the last time you went to school? What? That's f***ing you, dude. That was like the second grade. <laughs> I got to at least the sixth. Dude, we used to walk home from that school, like first graders walking home. And Dad would give us like a food stamp doll, a food stamp thing. It was like a $5 food stamp. It was stamp. a $5 food stamp, and we'd stop and get snacks on the way home. So down this road, there's a trailer we lived in that burned down. Now. Dad would have us walk from that school to the house down here with a $20 food stamp. And he would give us the food stamp because he wanted the cash back. They would they would have to give you cash back. For a cigarette. So we'd spend like $2 on some snacks for the walk home and have to give Dad the change. All right. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. Ready? All righty. All right, if he has bear mace, you gotta close your eyes. Okay. All right? I'm so nervous. This is it. Uh. 
Ready to confront? Yeah. Not really. When's the last time you've seen him? Oh, God. Years. Remember, no fighting, no crying. You good? I'm, I'm shaking. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna get a thumbnail here real quick. my brother. What up, bro? How you doing, man? How you been, hugs? Been forever. Say hey to the camera. You guys, this is our brother, John. <laughs> I want y'all to meet John. One of the coolest black will ever in your Jesus Christ, that was a mouthful. Right there, that's what I do. Anyway, this is my other son. That's what I do. I love my boy. I love Pop. Man. He doesn't give me kiss me. Ah, oh, goddamn, I love my boy. I, I, he's my favorite boy. Forget you, Michael. Pickle. Pickle, motherfucker. Cucumber right here in the house. Cucumber say you a pickle. Anyway, this is John, my other son. Yes, that is our brother, John. Now, you have been a part of the family for, what, since mid-90s? 96, yep. 97. 96. John was actually our neighbor in Gaston, and Dad loved him so much that he made him a like honorary member of the family, and it was like that until he died. So, yeah, I'm the only black sheep. <laughs> I'm not commenting on that. There is a black sheep, but it ain't you. <laughs> okay, so we're here to see John today because he's actually helping Jennifer fix up Dad's house because it is so beyond. Like that house is I'm I'm angry with her about it. Okay, because like you could turn to John a little. You know? Sorry. It's um it means a lot to me. The family does. So doing this is is not for the money. It's not. It's the legacy. The legacy that he had, what he left behind, and what it means to not just the family but what he what he left. You know what I mean? So We'll have before and after pictures of everything. Those before pictures, you guys, <laughs> they hit different. Okay, the last time you saw it, it wasn't. The, it looks like a crack house. Okay, I'm. It doesn't anymore. It's actually already fixed up like way more. But it was a f***ing crack house. She had to get a dumpster, and you filled up the dumpster four times. <laughs> it's not funny, but. Dude, how do you fill up a dumpster four times? That's a lot of. It's a lot of stuff, and the fact that it was the way it was, like I know Grandpa would be. He was flipping, be dude. Freaking, freaking mad. But I mean, you know, he loved that place, dude. He, it was his home, you know. And now it's Jennifer's like toilet. <laughs> so, I, I'm mad about it, dude. I, I, I reamed her off camera because I'm like, this is not good. It's, it's that would be pissed. I deserve it. You do deserve it. I said I do. Yeah, but you said it was sarcasm. Okay. Look at this guilty face right here. Okay. You're but lucky you got a friend like John. Like, there were reasons why why I left, okay? Yeah, she feels like she can't be in the house because that's where Dad passed away in. And, but you know what? Dad wanted you to have that house so you didn't have to worry about rent or any of that crap. And you just spit all over it. I'm just kidding. You didn't spit on it. But <laughs> well, she's getting it. She's getting it. She's getting it. Sure she's getting, getting it. it. Proud of you. Proud of she's she's Thank taking you, John. Steps. She's taking the steps to get it done and we'll make sure that it gets done properly and get done right. That's right. Having said that, those are my funyuns. I don't know why you dug them out of the car for yourself. Because but, I'm hungry. Yeah, but those are mine. Whatever. Grab the funyuns, Jim. No, they're yours. I was kidding. So maybe we can do a, like a Christmas thing at the house that people can see what the house looks like. Yeah. It's all done. You know what I mean? You're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> we usually don't invite family, like our brothers to the Christmas, so it's strange to invite one. <laughs> Do me a favor, cover this lens. That's the only ring you ever gonna get. Cover the lens. I know, right? No, there's a roach in my car, a big one. Jennifer's freaking out because there's a roach in the car. Are we gonna be able to go home? Nope. 
She's freaking out. She won't drive the car now. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny! Look, 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 look behind you! <laughs> okay, we are riding in a roach den. God. Okay, so what are we doing right now? Picking up toilets. What? Why are we? Okay, I know I don't know the ins and outs of this thing. Why are we picking up toilets that are just sitting in the middle of the grass? For my house. Are they free? Yes. Free okay. toilets? Yes, free toilets. They're throwing everything away. Free Dude, dad would have been all over it. He would have been. <laughs> dad would have taken all the toilets and started selling them. <laughs> you know? I was thinking about doing it. <laughs> yeah. Toilets, two for 50. <laughs> I mean, hell, grab what you can. This is insane. And we new beds for the kids. John, how'd you pull this off? You just know people? That's man, that's what I gotta give him some doubt. You gotta get. That's what's up right there, bro. See, you can get this. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the refrigerator's not coming, but you can get the dresser, the this whole piece, the mirror, the desk. Uh, and the chairs. That's so cool. How are you and gonna the, get all this? And the nice we'll have to get a U-Haul or something. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. That's why I said I got the guys from my men's ministry who um, are gonna gonna help get all of this stuff together for you. So that's amazing. Those picture frames be nice to have too. Like those pictures. <laughs> you just want to take? I'm trying to get rid of. We get you furniture. Man. <laughs> she getting furniture, toilets, beds. She's like, I want the picture frame. <laughs> <laughs> So we just found this restaurant and a florist. Yes. This is a this, you've been here before, you said. Okay, so we're gonna find this is gonna be good, right? Damn right. Jenny, you wanna uh, give me some tea? Look at this. Oh, this is cool. Takes you back to the days where you were a waitress, right? Mm-hmm. At dad's restaurant. I swear if you take all the tea. Well, all right, that's why I got the gallon cup. <laughs> Look at this. It is a florist. Slash sandwich shop. I know. Damn good sandwich shop. That means the lettuce is fresh. Oh yeah. You think we're they growing it in the back? Where's John's burger? Oh wow. You know it's gonna be good when it's in this like picnic table wrapping. <laughs> Holy crap! Here it is, you guys. A little roadside burger. Look at that, John. Looking good. Uh. Mm -hmm. This right here is we got Dad's 55. Right there. We were driving down the street one day, I was listening to this song, and I see dad's dream car. And I'm like, oh my God, so I call the guy. So I call the dude and I'm like, hey, what's the best price you can do on that 55? And he was like, what's the best price I can do on it? Call me when you know what the f you're talking about. And he hung up on me, it was like, dude. You guys, John is actually a talented artist. Have you ever seen the uh, painting in my office? Did he do this after after Grandpa died? Before. Dad, Dad actually saw it. The first thing he said was, God damn, what, am I dead, mate? Yeah. <laughs> I remember, like, we took, do you remember this, Bridget? We took this picture on, like, family day. It was, like, Dada. New Year's Eve or something. We all posed Dada. as a family. Hey, you. I'm back. How you doing? It may not be as big on a big of a canvas, but I promise you, I'll give you one about the same quality. I'd love to see you paint something. Yeah, this shit is awesome. Bridget, I know you've met him before, but on video, Bridget, my brother John. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Bridget doesn't like being like, put on the spot. <laughs> I don't. So John took us this little like florist, like burger place. Okay. It was pretty good. Did well, you give me flowers? No. Last time I got you flowers, you said they were cringe and you didn't want them. I didn't know, I said they stunk. Okay. They stink! You want, how about, I could get you like a bouquet of flowers or a bouquet of candy apples. Which one do you prefer? Apples! That's what I'm talking about. Yes, Michael, sir. can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Are you okay? I don't know what he said. But... <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Mia, say hi, John. Hi, John. Hey, dude. Uh, what do you got, Anger Grandpa? So we are officially home, you guys. You have officially met our brother, John. He's been a member of the family for, I don't know how long. It's amazing to see him again. How long have you been back in South Carolina? Because I know you were in like the Virginia area, all that stuff. <laughs> he keeps a low profile, Michael, okay? Don't tell no one he's here. Oh, yeah. Dude, there's nothing better than McDonald's after a road Don't trip. talk to me. I'm so mad at you. We had a good day. What are you talking about? You haven't apologized yet. 
Apologize for what? Breaking the TV. Oh, it was like three days ago, Bridget. Like four days ago. So, okay, time does not mean an apology. That's exactly what it means. We've been on good terms for days. Now you're not talking to me? Just say sorry. What happened here? I went to Columbia, had a good time, hung out with Jennifer. We talked this morning. We all laughed. Apologize! Sorry. For what? Breaking the TV. I'm more sorry because it was a $7,000 TV, and I'm really mad about that. Seven? You know what's really angering? You didn't get the warranty. I told you we needed it. I told you we needed it. You're not just going to get a free TV after destroying it, Michael. We would have said the dogs dropped it off the counter or something. We are here at McDonald's, and we are trying the new sauces. McDonald's has like a sweet and spicy sauce, a mambo sauce. I'm excited for that. It's all mine. You can watch me eat it, though. Okay, so you're saying that I have a weight problem. No! What? Okay, well then stop. What about this one? Oh, it's closed off. McDonald's has all new dipping sauces. I am really excited. Maybe we should kick John and Jennifer home before we bring the food out. Okay, you guys, we are picking up some food. But I'm not yep. sharing those sauces. What? I'm not sharing the sauces. No, definitely not. They can get regular sweet and sour. Yeah, they are ketchup from the cabinet. Yeah, or ketchup. <laughs> okay, a little update, you guys. We've been waiting for like 15 minutes. Don't they know Jennifer's watching our kids? I know. This is like unsettling. I don't want her watching our kids more than five minutes. I'm this about take... to leave. Seriously. Let's... Seriously, like. Hey, can I listen to Mia's voice real quick? <laughs> Okay, oh, thank God. Oh, I was gonna God. ask her for a newspaper with today's date. I was right. What is this? What are you I doing? Was Quick little McDonald's trick, you guys. They can only have a certain number of burgers on the grill at one time. So if you order a bunch of them, they're fresh. Hey, Jen, can you text me a picture of the two kids <laughs> and also have a calendar with today's date circled? Okay, sweet and spicy jam. We are gonna eat in the parking lot like rats instead of going home like a normal person. All right, we are trying the new sweet and spicy jam. Look at it. Oh, man. Here we go. I want to try it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I gave you the bag with sauces. Give me a nugget. You mother. Can you forgive me yet? Yes. I think I'm passing around a joint. There you go. <laughs> oh. The mumbo sauce. What is this? Hmm. A little spicier than the other one, I thought. Hi, Mia. Hey, can you do me a favor and tell me what bedtime story I read to you last night? Something only you would know? That is how you want a McDonald's burger. Like, it's been sat on and probably, like, <laughs> stuffed up somebody's ass. That's burger. That's going to be it for today, you guys. You met my brother. We went to... Or this plate of bourbon, guys. We went to McDonald's. We tried the new sauces. I got to admit, I'm not a big fan of them. They're too damn spicy for me. Oh my God, she just dipped it in a burger. Does it work? Mm-mm. No. <laughs> delicious looking bastard. Oh my God, it's, it's more, so good. It's more beautiful than you. It is sad that this is like a date. Most people, when they go on a date, they get like a nice candle lit, like dinner at Hall's Chop House. <laughs> beautiful moment. We're fine picking out in the car. Oh yeah. And if you're wondering what's going on with Jennifer's food, guys, we're going back to pick hers up. Just kidding, she's getting the old. <laughs> she's getting whatever's left.